Okay, so our first segment is done, and for the second segment, um, I have someone very, very special, someone that I'm a big fan of as well, and uh, someone that <clears throat> at some stage or the other, everyone who loves sport has looked up to. Um, there's no need for a for a lengthy introduction, but I will give you some of the achievements of his life. Um, one of the most successful managers in the world of football, and he built and managed champion teams and coached in Europe. He's had an illustrious career as a player at Barcelona and led them to many victories. And now as a manager, he's won league titles in Spain, Germany and England. Two Champions League titles and the current manager of Manchester City. Yes, you guessed it right. I'm going to be speaking to Mr. Pep Guardiola. Um, I'm a huge fan and I can't wait for this chat. So I'm going to go ahead and log him in. Yes. Virat, do you hear me? Hi. I can, I can, Pep. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm so glad to be the the Puma family. <laughs> he helped us, uh, you know, to meet each other. So a... I know, I couldn't have imagined about um, talking to you live on Instagram, having a conversation with you. I've been a big fan. I have uh, watched the All or Nothing documentary about two times. Oh yeah, and I love <laughs> I love your mindset and the way you go about things, um, and manage teams that become champions and bring out the excellence in them. So this is a little bit of a fanboy moment for me, and I would I would like to thank you, Ma, for making this happen, uniting us in sport, which I think is a great way to connect. Um, be it any sport, we all can be united purely because we are sports people and we play sport. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm going ahead, um, and I have a set of questions for you. But well, how so, how um, is how is your country? How is how is India right now? About COVID and everything. We are actually how is going Dubai. On? We are actually. We are I, I knew it. I knew it. You are yeah. in Dubai because lockdown from in your country. But the info there, is how is everything? Yes, the situation is is still um, on the way to recovery. We don't have. Um, as few cases as, as other places in the world, but we're getting better every day. Okay. Uh, and we had to make our tournament happen, which was only possible in Dubai. Um, okay. So yeah. we are in bio bubbles, similar to you guys. Yeah. You guys are going through, and um, that that was the only way to get this uh, uh, IPL, which is our 2020 tournament, uh, underway, uh, which we're very grateful for because back home it was not possible. The situation yeah. is. It's not great at the moment. Yeah, I understand. And are you playing in lockdown or with the spectators here in Dubai? No, it's um, behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. Spectators are Only yeah. uh, people like from the squad who can come to the stadium in the bio bubble areas, similar to what we see in your games, yeah. is something that um, we are allowed. Uh, yeah. Families are allowed to be part of bio bubble and they can okay. come to the stadium in those same areas. So, yeah, yeah it's quite similar like uh, like in Europe, in football and other sports, like NBA would happen. Okay, maybe one day, yes, yes. N n now you know um, Mumbai City will be part of our family in a city football yes, group. I, heard, yes. I know one person, yes. I met here in Manchester, AJ, it would be like a CEO there, quite similar. It's uh, an incredible nice guy. Uh, maybe we'll have uh, the chance to, I never visit India, so when this pandemic situation oh, okay. finish, we'd be love to to go there and excuse for Puma, excuse from all the argument from you know, Mumbai City, we can we can travel there. And maybe if we were together, you invite me in a good night restaurant, you can explain me a little bit the route from the cricket. <laughs> oh my God, it's the most difficult and complicated <laughs> game. I was I come from I come from Catalonia and there the cricket is not is not but I came here in England England you know that is is an important sport so yeah a lot of people follow and I try to follow him you know through the through the through the TV sometimes or I have some friends that play and every time explain me the rules so no you have to go to the stadium and I'm going to spend you there because it's so difficult <laughs> because you can play three days in a row finish draw so oh my god I have to understand it 
So you I have know, to do it for me. You have to do it for me. Absolutely, I will. I was speaking to my teammates the other day, and I said, "Look, football is so easy to understand. That's why everyone yeah. loves it. It's so yeah. easy to understand. It's a fast pace. Yeah, I know. We love playing it as well. But I said, cricket, you can play for five days, and then someone turns it out and says, "Who won?" <laughs> and you're like, "No one." And they go, "Why would you play for five days and not win?" <laughs> not a result. Oh. So that's that's the bizarre thing about cricket. But those who love it. We understand yeah, how much know. we love it, but uh, no, it's, that, it's a that's complicated the point. sport to understand. Maybe. No, that that that's the point. How is be loved for millions and millions of people around the world? So and must be attractive in in some way. Yeah. But yes, of yes. course, to under to to love it because you have to understand it. So I, I'm Absolutely. I'm in this process. Absolutely. I am in this process. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> so when we meet, I'm surely going to try and explain some rules to you. But for, for now. Sure. Um, it's it's a great honor for me to be able to talk to you um and ask you a few few questions so i'm going to go ahead and and start with my first question good um manchester city is known for its attacking football you've literally dominated i've watched so many games it's a pleasure to watch you won the league with 100 points and to come back the next season with the same drive how do you keep this hunger alive uh with the team <sighs> Virat, you know that the manager we can suggest something, but uh, if if this doesn't come from inside for every single player, you know the desire to what we have we have done, we have done. When you win a title, you go to take a shower and you are thinking in the next target, in the next achievement. This is the the greatest athletes, the greatest team. So we are a team in the last decade making an incredible step forward. But before of that, we didn't fight for the title. So this club, since the people from Abu Dhabi took over, the club make a step, say, we want to be with uh, United, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tot uh, Arsenal, Tottenham. These top teams that uh, they were during many many decades above of us and we were there when we achieved 100 points and be consistent two seasons in a row was was uh uh now the perspective when you are every day playing and competing maybe you don't realize but when the times the time goes past and and we will feel that uh, we did something incredible because in this country it's more difficult to do it and we did it but yes. as you know so the past is the past and uh, the challenge are new and you have to 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 move forward but i can say yeah, you have to do it to do it but if every player don't feel it you have to do it the managers at the end <laughs> they cannot do anything else yes. yes that's such a wonderful thing for people to know that you can have a vision but if you don't have people who can carry that vision forward for you um it's no chance so, no chance That's always right. i put an example like uh, i'm a big fan from golf and always i put example no you have a caddy i said yes. okay you have the next shot 180 yards you have to take the seven iron okay that's all yes. <laughs> but after yes. the golf has to hit the ball draw fade or whatever and uh, put it on the right yes. spot and, and make birdie so caddy can yes. help this so that that's that's why so there is a a big confusion sometimes like the managers who have to sell the product and we have to speak every week three times we the people believe we are the artists or we are the reason why the success even the failure and far away from this only we can do is is a trace a line and everyone follow this this path but uh, when the, the referee start to say okay guys show go uh, start is the players so i i love you no know, because nba for example they speak about lebron james now or michael jordan or yes. they play or they talk about the 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 athletes the you know the sport guys mm -hmm. the and feel about the the managers so in here in europe we speak too much about the manager they should talk more about the mm -hmm. the players this is a little bit yeah. different about the states about here Yeah, I understand. I totally understand. I do have a set of questions, but I'm just going to ask a follow-up question which is purely from my side to understand okay. your mindset. So, when you say that that players carry forward your vision, when you want to sign someone or you want to go into the the transfer window and buy someone, do you look at skill first or character first? I would say we sh we see the skills, but we should see more the character. Uh, the character you have to ask 
and with the skills at the end, you see the videos, you play against them, and okay, you say, okay, it's right, left, it's fast, it's low, it's, uh, it's strong in the air, shoot good, and both foods or not. This is, everyone can watch it, but know exactly the character, how, I uh, would say, how he handled the toughest situation or, or playing incredible tough scenarios with the difficult games in the knockout games, how they react, how in that moment overcome the bad situation or became what the best who, who the players they are uh, would be more important. The character I think makes makes absolutely the difference to be competitor and hungry and and especially in the bad moments put aside you know and forget immediately the bad action and think the next one and the next one is always the positivity and and do it when you are able to find this as much as possible in a squad this is a winner team a winner team. But the skills without handle the pressure or or the ambition to become something in in a, in a high high competition is is not enough. Definitely is not enough. But when you buy a players, you sometimes you don't know them. Uh, and if you're going to sweet or settle with the mates, you're going to settle with the, the way we want to play in the city we are going to live. So this is always a doubt until. You don't buy it, you are not uh, with them, it's difficult to know it. Wonderful, wonderful. That's, that's so good to know because a lot of people don't understand this. They look at a player's skill and go, wow, he can play. But the behind the scenes work, you're looking at the player reacting to a certain situation when the camera is not on him. Is he running back to position? Is he putting in the hard yards? These are the things that go unnoticed. And I, I feel that's so important for people to understand as well what is the yeah. vision behind selecting players who eventually become superstars over a period of time. Now, at the end is how you that's, handle that's the pressure. Thing. At the end is how you handle the pressure. You know that. So all your country is on your shoulders. So you are the best Indian player from cricket. So at the end, um, is in the right moment, in the in the quarterfinal, semifinal, or in the final, you do your best. And, and you want to show the world, I am the best. I'm... I want to help the team to win this game. And there are players in these scenarios became smaller and there are players became bigger. And the biggest ones are, are these ones. Yes, that's wonderful. That's wonderful to know. Um, so my, my next question is, um, to, in the time that we are playing right now, in this current situation where you don't have fans in the stadium, so you're pl literally playing with no one in the stadium. Is it easier to manage players without all the noise uh, in the stands? Or you love having the fans around and having that energy to push the players and that environment in the stadium? Nah, without, without people, you know that it's not the same. So it's another type of game. It's, it's like a friendly game every time. So it's not the same. We can we have to do it, but the show must go on. And of course, there are a lot of money involved, of course, Watching for TV, the people can enjoy it. I don't say the opposite, but the the people, you know, do the uh, any the restaurants, the cookers cook for the people. So yes. we need we need we need we need uh, the people come back. So of course they are going back when everything is going more or less uh, well in terms of of safety. But we need the people, so it's not the same. It's a completely different game. It's like uh, you feel empty. You feel in the bad moments are less bad moments, in the good moments are less good moments. And uh, in sports, the nice is when adrenaline go and high and top. Yeah. And in the bad moments, you want to kill yourself. You are depressed because you lose. And without people, it looks like looks like it's, it's okay. It's what it is. You have to accept it because the restaurants, the theaters, the cinemas, the shoppings and everything, it's, it's completely different. We are not different all, all other parts, but in the same times we miss, we miss, uh, we miss the, you know, the fans and the, the leaves there. It's the same. I, I'm pretty sure. So close play yeah, close behind the scenes is, is weird. Yeah. Really weird. We, we came here, we prepared for three weeks um, and I was so excited. I was like, let's go. First game in six months and yeah. I step onto the field and it just went boom. Like, yeah. there was literally nothing. I'm nothing. Like, wow. All that excitement just went away like that. So It's I, not I the totally same. It's not the same. It's not the yeah. same. For a short time, it's okay. But now we started the season 11 months playing that way. Wow. 
will be tough. Yeah. But I can understand. I can totally understand. Okay. So one interesting question about your playing days. A uh, lot of not like a lot of people talk about your your manager career, but not many people um, mention, especially in our country. And you know, uh, you've always been looked at as the best manager there is, and a lot of people forget that you were uh, a huge part of Barcelona, uh, controlling that midfield and yeah, um, working working magic with the ball. So I my ha- question is, you always used to wear black boots, and then you switched into some really cool uh, colored boots, and then went back again to black shoes. So, why did you make that switch, and how did it happen? Like, what? No, the important thing. And- the important thing is, um, maybe some fans that I some of your incredible amount of huge million fans that you have uh, uh, of course don't know who I was a football player I have to tell I was I had hair in that moment so <laughs> in that in that moment it was different and in that period all the shoes were black all the shoes were black period yes. all the shoes now yes, to yes. find a black shoes is so difficult you take a look at the players yes. and all, all the shoes were black and one day i put one shoe that was red and johan cruyff mm-hmm. my mentor uh, the best manager uh, the best manager yes. so he saw the shoes in front with the, with my mates and said what is this is red i said yeah uh, go inside change it and come back for the black shoes so he doesn't he didn't <laughs> allow me to training with the colors and today it is not one single player playing the black shoes like old fashion like everything it was okay with the brand with the puma with nike with yeah. adidas with the D- it doesn't matter yeah. but it was black now you don't find one one so yeah. now the tendency the brands change incredible well but it's quite similar like you you when you hit the ball you play white as someone told me and after you make black so maybe it's for uh, i don't know for superstition or or something like that the the white shoes are definitely superstition because that's more traditional for me okay just like you mentioned about black shoes okay uh, love playing white shoes um batting especially because that's when i bat that's my zone that's my Okay. Time to just be absolutely close to myself and just perform. Um, okay. And when we go into the field, otherwise, when the whole team is fielding, then I wear what's been told to me that this is the shoe that you need to wear, um, and this is what's what's gonna go on the stores. So okay, <laughs> that's the stuff. Okay. 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 Yeah, so that's the stuff. But Johan Cruyff, I mean, you mentioned a name that is also um, one of my heroes. Um, oh. What an incredible player! And it was Puma. It was Puma player. too. It was Puma. Yes. And that, like, uh, it's incredible. This run had Pele, Maradona, uh, and, and Johan Cruyff with this brand, now Neymar. So, yes. and and yeah, Johan Cruyff was was uh, absolutely genius, absolutely genius. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what he means to you and what he did to Barcelona yeah. and the legacy has been carried forward. In very very able hands of yours. So yeah, it's amazing to it's amazing to see that. Yeah. Okay. So my next question is, um, I read somewhere that you do you learn from a lot of other sports and then you apply the the learnings to the way you go about things. Um, how did you were you always keen on learning from other sports or you became like that as a manager? Yeah, they, you can learn it, especially speaking uh, with golf for players, for example, or basketball players. I think not in, maybe individual is more mental, but in uh, in collective uh, sports, always there are something similarities between between all sports. Yes. Uh, and it's nice. It's nice to know, uh, for example, goals like uh, the mental approach in golf is so 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 important. Uh, you know, for. Yeah. One centimeter, centimeter, the ball goes in, go out, and make the difference, and everything, and how you approach, you hit the ball, and and I think when you speak with the big athletes, you learn of them how strong is in their mind, so they don't doubt yeah. for one second about their abilities, about their focus, yeah. and I think it's nice to learn about them. We can we can learn a lot with uh, with the other sports. Yeah. If you are just close close your mind, adjusting what you have done in the recent years or what do you believe uh, you don't make a step a step forward it's impossible so the evolution is part of fundamental if not it will be boring no doing the same thing 20 years yeah. 
it's 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 boring. So that's nice, nice to change, change players, change the way you do training sessions, approach, and you learn for the other ones for sure, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when when I saw the documentary of Man City, um, we were actually on tour, and suddenly as captain, I was like, wow, this is exactly the chat I need to have with my team. You know, this is what I'm gonna oh, yeah. I'm gonna use. And say to the guys, because I can feel the emotion. I want the guys to feel this emotion, and step onto the field and and play with their heart, play with passion. No. And I can totally understand that you pick up things which are like, you can you can relate to it so much because at the end yeah. of the day we all play sport, and the mindset yeah, sure. remains the same, which yeah, is sure. an amazing thing, which is such a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, this next question of mine is is f- totally from a personal uh, space. Uh, you won. titles with barcelona you've won titles with bayern munich um and then you come to man city you come to england and you do it in three leagues plus two champions league as well um i know it's all about the players you said it's all about the players but i know for a fact i've heard i've seen interviews of people who said i can give my life on the pitch for pep what is that one thing that you have always followed in barcelona Bayern Munich, Man City, only as Pep Guardiola, which you know that always works. What is that one thing you always and always act like? I can introduce you some friends, uh, some former players or players that they don't believe in this, so they don't follow me. So <laughs> I can introduce you a few. Yeah. So in all the career, I know, I I know, know. in all career there are players that don't play much, or you decide don't play much, and after they don't follow. But at the end. Uh, the football players like in all the sports they are so smart they are so intuitive they are not stupid at all no way mm. and when you are fake they realize when you say something yeah. like you don't believe they don't follow you so you yeah. can be a mistakes you can be bad decisions but you cannot not be not being authentic so if you put uh, passion because at that moment you believe something you have to tell him sometimes I have to tell you something, but I don't quite sure. Don't tell them. And after you know, try to convince them that we want to play, that we want to live all together. And uh, the guys who want to follow, more than welcome. The guys they don't want to yeah. be followed, so or don't want to follow us. So, um, what we can do? So we try it and we try it and we try it. But at the end, the players must them must. Is the only way. I I know. So even when we are here eleven months together for the season, I want to. create a good environment so don't don't always is about win and win and win and win and it's not true so it's not true you can be happy even not winning so the important is we cannot miss is try it again and try it again and try it again and do it all the time but sometimes you cannot win so it's part of the life so it's not a big a big a big problem with that the important is the level man we are together here is 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 spend a good time You know, have fun, suffer the bad moments, enjoy the good moments, but have, have fun, spend a good time, and the relations, and uh, respect each other, and the backroom staff with the players, and have to try to do your yeah. best all the time. If you don't win, okay, we'll try. We will try next. It looks like in this society, only have to admire the winner, and it's not true. I think it's a it's a bad message for the kids, for uh, you know, and it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't just count win. Yeah, we do everything to win. Everyone to win. I never met one child go to the street to play with nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Play with a, a schoolmates, a football game, a cricket game, a basketball game, and they don't want to win. They want to win. They are competitors, yeah. huge competitors, for sure. But what happens is you lose when we teach them if if uh, the second one is incredible, huge failure, is a disaster. That is not true. Just as when you don't try it, or you don't, and 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 you don't make a, the effort you you have to do to try to achieve with your mates what you have to do. This is a big, I think, achievement as a as a because you know you won a lot of titles. The day after, what the people say, I want more. I want another one, another one. If yeah. you don't enjoy the process, is no sense. Absolutely no sense in our job. I don't change one title. One title we won. I don't change one for the past. The 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 process we live together to achieve this title. 
this is what I can't and I remember. I don't remember the titles I live. I remember the moments in the locker room, the preparation for the games, when I'm a football player, when we go to the restaurants with our mates. I remember these moments. So at the end, the other is statistics, is numbers. So it's nice. I have 10 or 12 or 11 or 3 or 20. This is not... Uh, I think I learned from the beginning, you know, I have to win the title, I win the title. I win the first hit. Oh, this is worse. This is, uh, I win mean the I was nice. The second year after, day after, ah, it's good, we won. But two days later, and everyone is, is forgotten. It's forgotten. Yeah. The people demand another one, and another one, and another one. If in the process you cannot enjoy it, it's no, it's no nice. That's amazing. That's amazing to hear straight from you. You have to go forward with your vision. Some people yeah, like it, sure. some don't. But they can never understand the work that goes behind it. And I, I know what you're saying, that that should be the most important thing and not the, the goal that is front of the world, that win titles and get trophies. And yeah. those things are celebrated, but no one knows about the hard work behind, behind, the, scenes. behind the scenes which is the most amazing thing. Um, I also want to show people uh, what you got sent for me recently, oh, yeah? which is quite cool. Nice, huh? <laughs> uh, Good. Uh, Man City shirt Good. for me, which is quite cool. Um, the new design. Um, whenever I watch the team play, I'll make sure that I wear it in the room and, and sit and enjoy uh, watching the, the excellence uh, that your team displays, uh, whichever team you manage. So, um, next time, amazing. next time, um, next time I want to come to see you have to see a football game, a cricket game with you. We have to. We have to. Absolutely. I want to learn. I want to my... learn your game. I want to learn your game. Okay, for sure, for sure. I'll, I'll explain promise as me. much as I can. Promise me it's going to happen. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll try my best. I don't know how much you can understand. No, no. Because I tr- it's so complicated. Listen, when it's finished, I travel to India. Okay. I will travel there. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Next time I'm there, I'll make sure I come to one of the games and, and catch up with you as well. We'll do it. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure, Virat. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. I wish you, I wish you all the best. Hopefully, you, your family stay safe in France. And, uh, and as soon as possible, can finish, I can back your country and, and, and come back to the, our routine that we love a lot. Absolutely. And also my condolences from, from my side and all um, my fans and all the people in India for your mother as well. Um, Thank you so much. So rest in peace and um, Thank all you. the very best for the rest of the season um, and whatever you do from here on in life and I'm sure we'll catch up. Thank you so much for coming. Here. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Pep. Ciao, Virat. Bye.